सो गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल वेलकम टू माई चैनल एन बी सेल्फ लर्निंग टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द टर्मिनल्स ऑफ ए डायर्ड पी एन जंक्शन डायर्ड एज वेल एज द डिफरेंट टर्मिनल्स ऑफ ए ट्रांजिस्टर दैट इज बाईपोलर जंक्शन ट्रांजिस्टर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव टेकन हियर एन पी एन ट्रांजिस्टर एन पी एन बाईपोलर जंक्शन ट्रांजिस्टर so uh, the symbol uh, here i have mentioned the diode is having uh, the symbol like this where uh, the aromatic side uh, represents the anode of the diode and uh, this bar represents the cathode of the diode um, it will be uh, connecting a voltmeter in this manner will be finding out Uh, the barrier potential of a diode and if the voltmeter is connected a, with proper polarity then only we can find out uh, the barrier potential here then comes to uh, your npn transistor this is uh, the schematic diagram generally how uh, does it look it is having a three pins over here so if you will be keeping the side that is the domed side towards right then the upper one we can take as the collector the lower one we can take as the emitter here i have written mention little wrong this one is the emitter fine and the middle one is the base of the transistor the symbol are mentioned over here for npn transistor the symbol is like this and for pnp transistor the symbol is like this so for a npn transistor generally uh, the base to emitter voltage uh, should be 0.7 volt if it is made up of silicon and uh, the barrier potential for a <sighs> diode pn junction diode that should also be 0.7 volt if it is made up of silicon and it is equal to 0.3 volt if it is made up of germanium so here i have taken a silicon pn junction diode you can see that one side is totally black and the other side there is a white mark present fine so the black side generally the white mark you can see easily here the white mark is present this side white mark is there and a whole black side is present right so the black side is generally represented as the anode of the diode and the white mark side is represented as the cathode of the diode so if you'll be uh, checking this through uh, a multimeter uh, to find out the barrier potential we need to take the multimeter into your diode mode and get sure that this should be connected in this way the probes should be connected in this way so uh, this one now the multimeter is working like a voltmeter if i'll be connecting the positive side to the anode and negative side to the cathode generally So I'm not getting anything. So let's take another one. I'm really sorry. Now you can see here the voltage is something zero point six six. Three that is nearly is equal to zero point seven volt. Fine. So if I'll be connecting in the reverse way, I'm getting zero potential. Fine. So here again, that is your zero point nearly zero point seven volt. That is the barrier potential of the diode. Again, for a bipolar junction transistor. if i am keeping it like bipolar junction transistor if i am keeping it like this 
then the upper one here this one is the collector the lower one is the emitter and the middle one is the base so if we'll be finding out the base to emitter voltage that should also be 0.7 volt so for that i'm doing it little like this so i can get a little distance to connect the probes so base to emitter voltage that should also be 0.7 volt it is coming more than one so there is a barrier potential between the pn junction we are getting some voltage so nearly 0 0.7 volt but in the reverse way we may not get it so here it is the emitter emitter here it is the uh, base and here it is the collector so how to use a multimeter to find out whether it is npn or pnp uh, and uh, what is its beta value so here you can see that if i'll be getting it opened you can see that holes are present npn and pnp written is either side of the holes so if i'll be pressing it corresponding to the different holes i should first take it into your hfe mode which is the beta value the current gain for a transistor so no value i'm getting over here this is not working properly the beta value should come So I'm taking another multimeter. So here the holes are present, you can see. So this is the PNP side, and here it is the NPN side. I'm taking it to your HF you want. You can see the value of beta is coming 369. In the sense, the upper one is the emitter, the lower one is the collector, and middle one is beta. The dome side is towards left. Now you can see. Right? Here you can see that the dome side is towards left. Here it is on NPN side. So this is an N, this is a NPN bipolar junction transistor. Find the beta value here. It is coming nearly 366 or 370. You can say, but if we'll be putting it in other holes, it may not. It will not give the value of beta. Generally, the value of beta it. varies from 50 to 500 for this kind of transistors so this is not a pnp transistor we are not getting the value of beta so where we'll be getting the value of beta corresponding to the different inserted terminals that would be the appropriate side here exactly in the sense if we keep 
the plain side towards right then the upper one is the emitter the lower one is the collector and the middle one is the base so thank you very much for more information please subscribe my channel